Hello everyone and welcome back to the day 5 of our Hello Python series. I am Mayank Agarwal and I am really happy to see your consistency. So in this video we are going to discuss about boolean data types in Python. So let's get started. Uh, in Python for representing the boolean data type we have the bool data type. Right? So the overall stuff or I would say concept is known as boolean and for this particular thing we have the bool data type. Now to intuitively understand about the bool data type I would say that you can just think of a light switch right the way we can turn off or turn on the light right there is no in between state okay in a real world whenever we are asking a question where the answer is either true or it's either false right so just true or false right so that is where it is used in the industry of course it is used at a lot of places like for netflix it can check if a user is logged in or if it is not logged in and based on that it will show the content right so just for an example let's say if i open netflix right now because i'm not logged in okay so because i'm not logged in then of course it is not showing me this but if i would have been logged in my logged in would have been true and it would have showed that yes it would have showed the different page altogether right so boolean is of course a very fundamental and i would say important data type to understand now bool data type can actually be one of the two values as we have already seen it can either be true or it can be false okay nothing else in between uh, now where is it used is that uh, if you will know fundamentally computer will actually just also understand the bool that is series of one or zero okay that i have already explained and initially also as well like computer were made with bulbs to take the decision so they can either be on or off okay so majorly in programming we use booleans okay in programming to for two major things first is making the comparison now making the comparison i would say that you can actually think of a stuff where let's say we are comparing let's say what's the temperature of the milk okay is the temperature greater than 45 degree outside or let's say what is the overall to making a comparison that okay which of these is bigger right anytime we are making a comparison bool of course is used second is controlling the flow of a program so controlling the flow you can think of like a intuitively you can think of a traffic light right so when the traffic light is green everything goes right so it is controlling the flow of your traffic in a similar way in a similar way we are going to see the decision control statement as well in the upcoming videos bool is actually used to control the flow of your program now bool of course as i showed that they can have just two values false and true okay let us see the same in the code as well false and b is equals to true just one thing which you have to always always remember is that they are case sensitive so if you remember they are the keywords which we cannot uh, i would say use so false okay it's going to give you an error right in a similar way true is also wrong so it's always capital t then true and false and now it's going to show you the same thing okay so that is how i would say your booleans are defined booleans always remember that they are keywords okay and they are case sensitive and of course i'm making these notes so that you can easily get the print out or basically whenever you have any exam or interview you can easily revise through them as i have seen that via notes okay it is very easy so please make sure that you like this video and also subscribe to my channel and share this video with all your friends so that they can also learn and understand python this intuitively okay so now let us move and actually see some other things so all test conditions in python actually turn the result as a boolean okay so you have to understand that when it any time we are uh, I would say comparing anything in Python, the result will always be a boolean. So just for an example, if we see here, three greater than five, it's false, right? So, but let's see what exactly will Python give me as an answer if I do this. So if I do three greater than five, you can see the answer is coming out to be false. In a similar way, seven greater than three, seven greater than three, the answer is coming out to be true. I can store this in some result and then basically use that result anytime if I want any anything. So you can see that how bool is basically used to first make a comparison and then from this result variable I can use that to make any uh, particular flow use that as a traffic light okay for my program. So that is all majorly about bool data type now there is just one very important stuff which I want to make sure that you understand okay the reason for that it is it is again something which is not a lot of people are aware of okay and it is actually used and can uh, I would say uh, basically used when you are writing the code. So if we guess the output of this particular file, right? So let's say A is equals to true, if this particular code, A is equals to true, B is equals to true again. Now when I'm doing C, which is equals to A plus B, and I print C, can you guess what will be the answer? Can you guess what will be the answer? So just pause the video and guess the answer. Let me mean by write the same for you all. So let's say if I have A is equals to true, then B is equals to true. And then let's say if I have C is equals to A plus B, right? And let me now try to print C. The answer is coming out to be 2. Okay. Now again, let me just do one more thing. See if D falls and print, let's say A plus D. 
and now you're seeing the answer as one. So what is this telling us internally is that, or I would say about the internal working of Python, which is very important to understand, is that internally, okay, internally Python is storing, Python is storing true as one, okay, so it is storing true as one and false as zero. That's the reason when we added two true, okay, it gave us answer as two, because internally Python says that yes, true is one, okay. So the above output actually make it clear that the internally Python stores true as one and false as zero. Now there is some background to that as well, which uh, I can just quickly explain that uh, till 2.3 version of Python, there were no specific Boolean data type. Okay, so Python like we used to use one and zero only, but then Python did use that and to make sure that backward compatibility is balanced as well. Uh, it basically made sure that that is how uh, it will go. So true always will be one and false is zero. And bool actually is a subtype of your integer, uh, I would say type, okay? So that's all I think which you need to understand in bool. Now, of course, as we move forward, this understanding will be a lot useful and we will be doing lots of, I would say, questions as well as lots of uh, particular concept which will be based on this understanding. Again, I have made sure that I have provided you a proper notes to explain these things in code format and everything as well with lots of examples. And again, industry examples are also given here and you can see the questions where the solutions are hidden. So yeah. Please download this and make sure that you solve and check your understanding. Okay, so let us now meet in the next video where we're going to learn about the string data type. Okay, pretty sure that bool is a lot clear. Please make sure that you download all the content, okay, which is there from the Google Drive drink in the basically the captions. So let's meet in the next class, everyone.